Oh my god, this video is so unplanned, but a new Life is Strange game trailer has literally just dropped. I want to apologise about the lighting and everything. This is just an extremely unplanned video, but I didn't want to watch the trailer without reacting to it and filming it for you guys. I literally found out about the trailer by accident. I was just out for dinner with some friends, quickly checked my phone to have a look at the Formula 1 race results and saw the Life is Strange trailer and was like, to say that I malfunctioned for about 10-15 minutes would be an understatement. I've deliberately not watched the trailer because of course I want to save that for you guys, but I have seen Max Caulfield, okay? Yeah, let's react to this. Okay, so this is possibly the worst quality thing you've probably ever seen in your life. No, it's not 2006, but this is my only means of recording my reaction right now is with my webcam. At least the audio quality is pretty good. Yeah, I saw Max Caulfield, that's all I can say, but I've not actually seen the trailer properly nor watched it so let's react am i nervous I swore I never used my power. is that hannah tell please say that's hannah tell if not it's not a big deal but but two nights ago i found my friend's body <gasps> in the woods I like the dough on her jacket. I've just realised that. Her model looks so good. I don't know who I can trust or who trusts me, but my friend Safi is dead. My God. So why can I still hear her voice, man? Focusing my power, I somehow shifted oh. into a parallel Still a photographer, nice, yes. Uh, wow. I mean, it's very brief, but. Okay, well, there we go. Back to uh, 2006 camera quality. There is the trailer. So that basically went against all of my expectations. And I don't mean the trailer. Um, what I mean is Max Caulfield, what? How literally I said in my video, my last video talking about like the Deck Nine stuff. Um, and I did obviously speak a little bit about the new Life is Strange title, which was confirmed to be in the works. We just found out in a really awful way. And how I said that I feel it's extremely unlikely to be a Max Caulfield and Chloe story. I'm correct in the Chloe part. Obviously there is no Chloe here, but that doesn't mean that there isn't going to be Chloe later on down the line. But this is really, really exciting. I've not actually seen any other trailer reaction, so I'm not too sure what the community think, but I do think that this is an exciting thing and obviously they can utilize max's power telling another story because she is able to obviously go into parallel timelines based on what we see before the event of a friend's death i wonder if that is the timeline we know timeline of max and chloe or if this is just a completely other timeline we don't know yet but yeah this is um this is pretty fucking cool i'm excited to see what's to come so it is the next day. I do apologize if I seemed unenthusiastic in those last clips. Just to let you guys know, I had just gotten back out from being with friends and my social battery was just completely depleted. So pretty much everything I said in the last clip was just word vomit, but hey, it was an authentic reaction. That's what I wanted to give you. But now some time's gone by and I've done a little bit more research on the game. Let's talk about it. So Life is Strange, Double Exposure 
is the new Life is Strange title that was revealed yesterday. We got the trailer and as we all know, Max Caulfield is back with a whole new story. So I have gone onto the Square Enix website and I've just read kind of like the, uh, the blurb for the game if you will. And it reads, Max Caulfield, photographer in residence at the prestigious Calden University, discovers her closest new friend Safi dead in the snow, murdered. To save her, Max tries to rewind time, a power she's not used in years. Instead, Max opens the way to a parallel timeline where Safi is still alive and still in danger. Max realizes the killer will soon strike again in both versions of reality. Only Max can shift between the two parallel timelines to solve and prevent the same murder. So there has obviously been a lot of questions about how they're going to execute this story. And also when I've been on Twitter, there is a lot of memeage about where the hell is Chloe Price? Now, they're obviously not going to reveal Chloe's appearance in the trailer. I feel like this is going to have to just be one of those things that you have to play to find out. They're not going to reveal all of this stuff in just the trailer because then why would people buy the game? The point of the trailer is to put you on the edge and just to give you a brief rundown of the game and to make you want more. So I feel like people commenting things like that are just forgetting the whole point of trailers full stop. They're not going to give away all these de so many details in just the trailer. They're giving away key points but you have to play the game to find out. Personally, I think yes, Chloe will make an appearance in Double Exposure, no doubt in my mind. Whether it will be in the way that I'm expecting that we'll actually have Chloe Price there, whether she's voiced by Rihanna DeVries or Ashley Birch, I'm not sure. Both of those actors have been very quiet about whether they're going to be in the game. No one has said anything, not Ashley or Rihanna. I think it's really exciting, personally. And I think regardless whether Chloe is in it or not, I still think it's going to be a great game. Essentially, they are giving people what they wanted. People wanted Max Caulfield, people wanted the original cast. No doubt those things are all going to be mentioned. I would imagine that Deck Nine have obviously done their homework on Max Caulfield, where she is already a character with a story that has already been told, lore that is pre-existing. I would hope that they have done their research into it so there are no plot holes and Arcadia Bay and with what happened with Chloe and that is how she discovered her powers. It is a very big part of her story and a very big part of the origin of her powers so no doubt that they're going to mention that in the game and that there is going to be something about it in the game. So please calm your titties. Sorry this is just me editing right now. There was actually an extra point that I forgot to make and that was a lot of people complaining about Max character model saying that it doesn't look like her. People forget that the first Life is Strange game was developed almost 10 years ago and game development and the engines they use have come an extremely long way in the last 10 years and don't forget Life is Strange came out on the Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS3, PS4 era and game developers have come a long way since then so of course she's not going to look identical to her original character model that and she is also 10 years older people forget this i personally think her character model looks great i don't have any issues with it and it looks how i would imagine a 10 year 10 year older max would look with updated game engines and updated graphics so stop complaining so for those of you who do not know the game is coming out october 29th this year so we're only around four-ish months away and to be honest we knew that an announcement was happening this year because the last Life is Strange game, which was True Colors, was is going to be three years old this year. And when you take a look at release timelines between Life is Strange games, it is roughly three to four years between each game. So it made sense that there was either going to be an announcement this year or a new game. And we're getting both. We got the announcement and that it is also coming out this year. But the biggest shock was just that it was Max Caulfield. For me it was a shock because I did not look at any spoilers or I did not look into any leaks, I stayed clear of those. The trailer is not all that we're getting though. Square Enix have put on their website that they are going to be doing a reveal live stream on the 13th of July at 9am PT on the new Life is Strange game on the Life is Strange YouTube channel which will just disclose more information about the game so I'm definitely going to be tuning into that. There are also three editions coming out for the game, three different editions you can purchase. Obviously there is just the base game, which is just Life is Strange, double exposure, no extras, but there's also a deluxe version of the game. So the three editions that are available are Standard, Deluxe and Ultimate. 
I'm not too sure what deluxe actually entails. I've tried to look into it, but I've not found much about it. But I can tell you about the Ultimate Edition. I'm pretty sure the Ultimate Edition will feature everything that is available in deluxe and the base game, of course. But if you do pre-order the Ultimate Edition, you get advanced access to chapters one and two on October 15th, 2024. So you get early access to the game. So that is roughly two weeks ahead of the release date. The game is coming to Xbox Series X and S consoles, PlayStation 5, PC via Steam, and the Windows Store all on October 29th and a Nintendo Switch version is also coming but there are further details to be announced about that version of the game. There is also going to be a collector's edition. I'm happy to see that Double Exposure is getting a collector's edition. So these are the details of the collector's edition. It comes with a collector's edition goods box, a 32 page mini hardcover art book, a 12 inch vinyl soundtrack, Max's owl pin replica and four double sided 12 inch art cards which is really cool. Annoyingly the collector's edition does not come with the game which I think sucks personally so if you buy the collector's edition you don't get the game with it you have to purchase the game separately which I think is really annoying pretty sure the collector's edition though is only sitting at around 49.99 here in the UK which I don't think is too steep pretty sure the collector's edition of Life is Strange 2 was worth more money but it did come with the physical game so it looks like if you want the collector's edition you are also going to have to purchase the physical game as well whether it be digital or physical there are going to be physical releases thank god okay so I know I said earlier on that I didn't know what the deluxe edition come with um, but I've just found something that says about the ultimate edition and it comes with the game a spooky outfit pack decades outfit pack a final fantasy 7 outfit pack a fan favorite outfit pack poor prince cat outfit pack and an exclusive cat content and also this is with the ultimate edition but a pre-order bonus you get early release of chapters 1 and 2 unlocked via a separate downloadable product two weeks before the release date so that must be what the deluxe edition comes with but if you only pre-order the deluxe you don't get early access but ultimate you get early access so yeah that's all i have to say about double exposure i'm really 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 excited for double exposure and it looks like us life is strange fans are getting treated not only have we got life is strange double exposure coming out but there is also a new deck nine game in the works called lost records bloom and rage i think it is called and i too am very excited for that as far as i'm aware lost records doesn't actually have an official release date yet it's just saying late 2024 so we're getting treated well and truly as life is strange fans this year it's just Great. Thank you so much for watching this video. Sorry that it has been a bit all over the place. This entire announcement has just really caught me off guard. I knew that a Life is Strange game was being announced, but the last couple weeks I've not really been in the loop with Life is Strange stuff. So literally just to be sitting at dinner table with my friends and unlock my phone and see Max Caulfield in this new Life is Strange game, no words so i'm still kind of trying to comprehend this at least with true colors we kind of had a little bit of warning that a new life is strange game was coming with this they were like yeah new life is strange game and it was a new cast of characters and we knew that and we knew when the announcement was this just out of nowhere as far as i'm aware for me anyway where i've not been in the loop i should probably be in the loop more please let me know down in the comments what you think of the new life is strange title again i personally am very very excited for for this and don't forget to follow along on my channel i'm going to be doing all sorts of videos about double exposure and just talking about it so if you're interested in that do consider subscribing i will really appreciate it anyway guys thank you so much for watching the video and i will talk to you all in the next one goodbye and take care